All right, good morning, everyone. As you know, football has been a cornerstone of the New Rochelle community in spirit for a long time. Coach DiRienzo has been a part of that legacy, and I know part of the lives of every single student on the football team and off the field. He impacts students as well as other coaches across the athletic department. I am well aware this is a challenging circumstance of his reassignment, and it's a challenge even more because I'm unable to share many of the details I know people are inquiring about. Um, there is an ongoing investigation and to maintain confidentiality and the integrity of the process, I'm really unable to give further details at this time. I really wanted to convey to the community this morning the dedicated staff and coaches who have come together to assure that the students are supported in schools in school, in their lives, and on the field. Last evening, when these coaches arrived back around 9 o'clock at night, they met with President Mazzelli, they met with myself, Principal Starvaji, to really talk through the supports that they have in place. They had met with the students to talk to them about their focus on the game, their focus in school, redirecting them, answering their questions, talking to them to support them. And they stayed until almost 10 o'clock last night. First and foremost, we're concerned about the students with whom they spoke to. I can assure you that Coach Foster, Coach Ticello, um, and Coach Rett are fully committed to the students. They are absolutely all in, and I want to thank them publicly for what they do each and every day, but how they've really pulled together for students um, in this circumstance. Please feel reassured that they are working on behalf of kids more like a family than like anything else. Students can go to them with, for anything, and I really want to thank them for all that they do each and every day. I appreciate their commitment as well as uh, Director Steve Young of the Athletic Department, as well as Principal Starvaji, who absolutely has additional supports in place. Should any students have concerns um, in school, um, I also want to take a moment to recognize our student athletes that we're so proud of. We know how hard they work on and off the field, but we know how they pull together to really have a strong team on behalf of all the coaches and on behalf of the team. We know how much teamwork and time and effort and energy that takes, and we really want to be cheering them on as they go into a really important game this weekend. So um, I'm here to take your questions at this time. What happened? I really, as I said, I can't discuss the circumstances of the incident, the purpose of today and the purpose of having this meeting is really to share with the community how focused we are on the students, how the supports are in place at the school for the kids in this, uh, this time. Is there a chance that you'll bring them back? Uh, we are doing a thorough, diligent investigation. We are doing it as quickly as possible because, of course, this is an important circumstance, but we have to do a thorough investigation, and when that happens, you can never put a timeline. Did he do something, or did a student say he did something? For the protection of the employee, I really can't discuss any of the circumstances surrounding his reassignment. The football parents said that he had assisted a student. Who is I can't. I really can't discuss any of the circumstances regarding the reassignment. Mm -hmm. I really am here to talk about what's in place at the school to assure the football team moves forward. There are three tremendous coaches working really hard with the students. They were all in yesterday, both on the field and off the field, talking to the students. And I want people to know that we value the coaches and the supports that are in place. This is an important sport. We are all proud of the work the students have done on this team. We know that this is a critical time, um, but we are required and it is important that we fully investigate um, the reassignment. So I've had children in the district for, I'm Tony Aiello from Channel 2, I've had children in the district for more than 10 years, um, and I've been getting emails from the district for at least that long. I've never gotten an email like the one that you sent out yesterday, where you named someone who's been, who allegedly did something, before you determined whether what this person allegedly did, he actually did. So I know that some people are concerned about due process. Can you walk us through your thinking that led up to the email and the naming of the coach? So I won't talk about necessarily what happened before, but I think when you're in a circumstance where you're reassigning someone, 
that's a significant piece of information that should be shared with the community. Just the reassignment, it makes it serious. And so that is the thinking. It wasn't actually the only one. Um, in the past, there may have been conversations about whether or not we have been transparent about information when it comes to students and safety and concerns. And I think reassignment of a staff member, especially someone so prominent um, who was ready for practice yesterday and who has a game coming up, rises to the level to let parents and community members know it is the reason for this press conference to let them know we absolutely have children's best interests in mind when we're thinking about supports for them, how, how we have things in place with the other coaches, how we're all pulling together for students. And while I know it's really difficult for me not to be able to share details that people are interested in, it is for the employee's protection and reassignment is pretty significant to me. So early in your tenure, um, is this an indicator of what your mindset will be going forward when other staff members inevitably are accused or suspected of violating a rule, a protocol, a guideline? If it escalates to the point of reassignment, you can expect it. Uh, absolutely every single circumstance when something happens, the details matter, the investigation matters, the information we have at the time matters, and that's how we make our decisions on the details of particular incidents. But if it escalates to the point of reassignment, I think it's only fair that the community are aware. And what is the current reassignment? What is his status right now? Uh, it's just reassigned, not outside of the school. He's reassigned to outside of the school. Dr. So, Thayho, have you talked to him yourself? Uh, I am not conducting the investigation. We are conducting an investigation. I am not myself. I have not spoken to him myself but an investigation is being conducted at the school. You're about to face some very upset community members, support, professional athletes are here. Are you prepared for that? Because they are very upset. Mm -hmm. How prepared are you to go into this next room? As prepared as I am to talk to you. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it is very hard when you're upset to hear. I can't share the details that you want to know. All the information that you're asking of me, I'm unable to really share with you and let you know what you're here for. But what I did feel was important that everybody had this, all the information at the same time. Calling a press conference doesn't sound supportive, but giving everybody through your lens, we're able to give everybody the same information at the same time, which is that the students are supported, we are caring for them as we always have. We have incredible teachers and staff and coaches at the school that are working um, side by side with guidance counselors and students should there be a concern that they have. And that's what I want to convey to everyone today through your lens and certainly what I'll convey in that room. Can you be a little more specific on the uh, protocol, on the policy that may have been violated? I mean, you're- Unfortunately, I can't. Right? Nothing surrounding that. And that's the most challenging part. What you're asking is what's most difficult for me because of course, people want answers to that specific question. But because I'm unable to share it, it's to protect the employee. Um, it's a challenge to say, uh, to not answer the questions that people want answers to. But please know that we will absolutely have a diligent, thorough, expedient investigation as much as is possible with the information as it comes to us to be able to resolve this. But it was a policy violation or procedural violation? I did not say that. I said I was unable to discuss what transpired. I cannot discuss anything regarding the employee, only that we have the supports in place to deal with the students and to work with them and work with families. And I hope to be able to convey that to the families in the other room. Okay. Was the reassignment uh, your decision? Ultimately, it was my decision. How would you describe how difficult the decision was? Uh, anytime you deal with staff matters, it is a challenge. Um, and so while I can't share absolutely any details, as I mentioned, and I don't want to be sound repetitive, but I can't share the circumstances, it's always a challenge when difficult things happen and you have to make a decision. Did you seek legal advice? I am not going to discuss, really, protocols in place in the district. Please rest assured that due diligence and uh, ensuring that we are fair in the circumstances uh, is in place. Did the parents of the student uh, ask that action be taken? I can't really discuss any of the details. It would be unfair of me to share. 
How common within the Newershell School District is it to uh, is it for a teacher to be reassigned? Uh, that I'm sorry, I did not bring specific data on. I will tell you that a second person was reassigned yesterday. Related to this? Nothing to do with this. Totally separate. Thank you, um, now, how come uh, you did not? I mean, did you put out a message or an email about that yeah, other person? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Dr. Fayer, what does it exactly is uh, reassigned outside the school mean from a technical perspective? Are they being paid? Yes. Are they reporting they're, some particular place? What does it mean? Uh, they're just outside of the school. They cannot attend to their normal or come to the school or attend to their normal schedule, but they are still being paid. They're just not at school. Is he, is he banned from coming onto the campus? He cannot come to school to come to work, yes. How many years has he been here? Uh, I know he's been a coach for over 20 years. I think, I don't want to give you the exact date because I don't have it, but I know he's been a coach uh, here for over 20 years. Can you characterize how the athletes took the news of the reassignment? I can't because I don't have firsthand uh, knowledge of it. When I spoke to the coaches last night, he said they, they felt that the students were good. They were good coming to them with any questions or concerns, and they did discuss that this, as a team, they pulled together you know, amongst themselves. And so uh, they did not indicate to me anything outside that team family. It felt like the family was taking care of the family and the kids were good. So I did not get specifics on their reactions. And you, you referenced this in your statement. Are you feeling any extra pressure or concern because it is so early in your tenure? These things happen. Would I have said, you know, my eighth full day on the job, my you know second week, that my press conference would be about something like this. I wish I was standing here telling you all about the fabulous arts programs and the wonderful sports teams that we have, which I'll put a plug for, and all of the great things that are going on in school each and every day. Um, but things happen the way they happen, and I want to make sure that we always, as always has been before, put students first. Is he allowed to attend Saturday's game? He is not able to come as a coach to the game. He is as a, no, but as a, just a, 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 a person, as a, you know. Um, I would imagine he, the, he could come as a spectator, but he can have nothing to do with the team or the coach or the coaching or beyond the field. Is there any chance that this might be resolved by Saturday, or is that off the table? Uh, nothing is off the table, uh, as, believe me, as we are focused on this. We are paying attention to every detail. We are going to take the time that it takes to make sure we have really done a thorough investigation. And when that happens, we will absolutely let people. Are, is one of the, are any one of the three coaches you mentioned, is one of them serving as an acting head coach? All three of them are, are working together. None of them has been distinguished as uh, taking his place and I don't think anybody could actually take Coach D's place but because they work all together so closely they are I know speaking to him I know that they are um, fully capable of carrying out the kind of team and coaching plan that has been in place they feel fully confident that they're able to support the students with the game plan that they had and to support the students emotionally and like a family deal with any of the things that come up for them. So they can communicate with you about the team, you just can't be there? He cannot be first. coaching in any way or teaching in any way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
process because it while while coach D is on the hot seat right now you can pull this on anyone so can you please explain to yeah, us you. what your process is and how you make a unilateral decision like that if it was unilateral was and why unilateral. wasn't the community involved in your decision making process mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about coach D no, process so something came to our attention we are doing a thorough investigation in the interim, there was a reassignment. It was important when something escalates to the point of reassignment that the community is made aware. How long does it take to investigate? You're, you're killing the community there is right no now. Way, there is no way to put a time constraint on the investigation. How was the reassignment decision made? Without saying too much, I know what happened, you know what happened. Did it deserve public humiliation? No. Not at all. No. No. Not at all. No. Good point, right? Something escalates to the Good point, right? They never did. Well, they never did. Never did. Never did. Well, who escalated it? Who escalated it? You escalated it. You escalated it. You don't know what time it is, right? You don't know If you allow one person at a time to speak, we will be very clear. No, I'm not talking about the incident. Very decent. With all the emotions, let one person at a time incident, stand up and declare themselves, okay? The incident, we'll be all right. Like, I think the, the uproar is that without talking about the incident, the email that went out because mm -hmm. of the character and mm -hmm. who Coach D is as a person, the fame that, that doesn't really add up. It's a public humiliation. That's right, right. Uh, There's yeah. worse things yeah. going on exactly. than what happened. That's that's right, right. Right. Yeah. 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 Incident that happened in May that only got a memo, not a press conference. Right. We support Coach D. It does not matter. My point is, every issue should be handled a certain way. Right. 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 Right.
and those coaches, the coaching staff, well, he is where he is today at Channel 9 Shop. You know, someone that was doing something probably out of love and concern for a family member, right. this could happen to any one of us, right. any other teacher, any other right. coach in the district. There are tough decisions that teachers every day, That's right. coaches That's right. have to That's make right. every That's single right. day. And if we start looking over our shoulder, you know, it's not going to be Everybody a good thing. What if that kid would have shot the school up? It's such a question. I'm here 40 years. It's about it, second what it comes down to. It's about the students in all the schools. And with this decision, it's going to affect all the students. Because every teacher, every coach is going to start looking over their shoulder and start being concerned of what they do, what they say, mm -hmm. when, when our, our main job is the love and the concern of the children. Yes. That's right. Thank That's you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I absolutely hear what you're saying. Students absolutely come first above everything. No, no, no. And that is what leads us to... Bring back Coach Z. I played for Coach D for two years. And I can tell you all these people are not here over Saturday's game. Whether some of them haven't said that or displayed that right now, that's not why we're here. Most of us are here because we have work ethic because of him. That's we understand right. we yeah. can work as a team. We work cohesively at our home, at our workplaces, and with one another because of what he gave us. There's right. thousands of us. Right. Coach D's given 30 years to this, this district, maybe more. I'm not and sure. Thousands. But yes. there's, there's, mm -hmm. over, there's over a thousand of us. And mm -hmm. most of us are productive, highly functioning right. young men in this world. That's right. That's right. Most, of us don't, most of us don't get rich because we play for Coach D. Most of us don't get scholarships because we play for Coach D. And most of us don't play college football at all because we play for Coach D. But most of us get to lead a productive life because every day we get taught that we can't, it, there's no complaining. We have to come and we have to show up for the people that, that depend on us That's every right. day. That's right. We That's have right. to be yeah. early, not early. We, we have to be earlier than early. We have to do the little things. And so that's why we're here. There's a group of people, teachers, parents, former players, community members, supporters of football, etc. We're all here, not because of Saturday's game. We're here because this is somebody who instills values in us. That's right, brother. Some of us can get that at home. A lot of us can get that at home. And whether, and whether, and whether, and whether we all like what, what he calls on third and long, and whether we all like the offense or the defense, it doesn't matter because we got something more than that. And so we're here for we're here for that reason. And I need you to understand that there's a whole there's there's hundreds of kids from here and going forward that may suffer because of what you're doing. And I understand there's a process, and I understand there's a process, and you have to follow it. Abuse people at games, at any game, at any game. For a program that's done so well because of the man that's the head of the program. Right. That's right. To make a decision to ruin somebody's reputation, which he cannot get back now. Nope. He can't get that back because every time he walks on a field out of his house, somebody will perceive what you said or read through your words. I want you to assure me. And I'm talking as a bishop now. Right. That you did not, are not carrying somebody's water from the health department of the entire school telling you what you should do. But you're making this decision or you have made a decision on your own after two weeks being here. I want you, I want you to say that. And I want you to say that in the mic because I'm, I'm extremely concerned because, excuse my language, there's a lot of scouts around. I have absolutely made this decision with the facts presented to me on my own, as is personally, professionally, and statutorily required of me. And I absolutely will further commit to you Amy that the decision that will be made as a result of an expedited and thorough investigation that decision will be made by me based on the facts and i want that to be clear and i'm saying no, it no. slowly because it is important to me for everyone to know that this was my decision based no. on a circumstance and i further you just give me one second i want to recognize absolutely positively that i did know and i do understand not as deeply after three weeks or i've been here since two weeks 
meeting with people. I recognize the incredibly short time that September. is, and not to the degree that's been shared with me today, but I absolutely recognize that Coach DiRienzo has been an amazing support on the field, off the field, in the school, in the community. I was under no misassumption that he was a coach. I know that he is a figure in this community for students years and years and years, and I know how important he was. Please know that this is incredibly important. And I want to be clear as well, because you said some things here today about investigating someone you don't have a clue about. You've not called any of the leaders of this community to sit down with and say, I've got to make a decision. This is a bedroom community. It is not New York City. You came here with baggage. And mm. you seem to be unloading it on us. We, 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 I'm talking as a black man. This man represented the black community and done so much for the black community. Yes, he did. Don't tell me you care about the students. Because if you cared about the students, I would ask a question of you. What do you do? When 2,000 students walk out on the street and refuse to go back to class. Yes. Yeah. Until you make Hello, your decision. Somebody. Yes. Hello, and we got to do what it. do you do then? I'm still investigating. You cannot investigate a person that you do not know. You are going by what is probably known today as hearsay. And that's what's killing people. Hearsay. Amy, And Amy. what you're hearing and what you consider a fact from your cameras and everything else, always remember what you see on camera is not what's happening. Mm -hmm. so, and if you know what I'm talking about, and I think you do, because with the little things that I know and the little knowledge that I know, you have circumvented what you keep bringing up, process. There is no process, let's be honest. You do not have a process. And the question's asked, and you will not answer it. Just say it to us. We do not have a process. We will put in a process after this. We, I am going to rescind what I said. That makes us happy. That makes us seem that you are a professional. But for now, you're not a professional. Not what you did, what you did. The process would have been to call in and talk to people. Mm -hmm. What is his character? And as far as we know, he's got a solid character. Mm -hmm. When you, you personally, can tell me I'll write a check and help any kid up there, then you can talk to me. Mm -hmm. When you uh, take somebody to your house and feed them that hasn't eaten, Mm. I'll sit down with you. No. When you work 24-7 yes, helping kids and not being compensated, oh, I'll sit down with you. You have no idea who this man is. And he's got, he's got some enemies. Oh yeah, he's got some. Just like you and me. But you should have. As a as a professional, as somebody that has grown into this, you should have at least let me seek out information before I do anything. Yeah, yeah. And yes, Definitely. it is not about a game. Sure ain't. What is yeah, happening here? Is. What is happening here? This game. is a game. Exactly. This is a game. You better tell it, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you going to understand who Nourishell is. Don't play. And all of these members should have been sitting here when you made that statement because they owe it to us. We pay them. We pay them. I'm a taxpayer here and I pay your salary. Go ahead, Bishop. So you have to answer me. You have to give me an explanation. I don't, I know what it means. You've got certain rules that you have to follow. 
I understand that. But you should have thought about this thing before. What's the implications of all of this? Every parent in here is bleeding inside. You don't care. But you don't get on the road, nor do any of them, and drive 200 miles to see a game. You don't get on the road and stand out in the freezing cold, in the rain, in the snow, watching these kids perform because they work all summer, three times a day, sweating it and everything. You say you care about them? You have torn out their heart. Their leader is not here. Don't you understand that? That's what a leader should first understand. Be careful how you deal with other leaders. Exactly. So I thank you. I really thank you. I really thank you. But this process that you have going, that you have going, that you want to establish now, I think you should speak to your attorneys here, and I think you should speak to some other people, because you have ruined this man. He's like a brother to me. I, I make no bones about it. He, he's like a brother. I don't get anything from the school system. But that man, I've watched him. I've watched them closely. I've watched them cry. I've watched them suffer. I've watched them go through the pains of doing everything. <coughs> and you don't have a clue who he is. Not a clue. And that's not a disrespect to you. But before you make a decision, doctor, you should at least, at least let me make a few phone calls. Any superintendent before you would have made a few phone calls. Sure would have. Yeah. I had to find out 10 o'clock last night. Mm. And if I had known before then, I'd have been at the high school. Mm. I'd have been there with you. I'd have been right there. Don't talk about the mother coaches because those other coaches have been tutored by him. That's right. That's why they're in the position. Right. There's other coaches and phys ed directors mm. that have grown up under this man. There's other kids in that school. Mm. And don't say he took opportunity. That was his relative. If it had been my relative, I would have done the it's same thing. Yeah, you can do so yeah, you can you not going to say that. Yeah. It's, 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 it's called exercise. But don't let me draw a scripture now. Oh, right. You need to. Right. 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 I do want to reiterate two points. One in which I am absolutely have made and will make the decision. I have conducted the investigation. I am going to. It is absolutely the top priority. I am going to. There is a process in place. I can't speak to what came before. There is a fair process in place. It is not here to say. I, I absolutely will be conducting the investigation. We have to have a stand